There is not enough charity in the world to solve global poverty. In rural Uganda, impoverished women are struggling to raise families on less than $2 a day. They are entrepreneurs out of desperation. A group of American women decided to do something about it. They formed the nonprofit Women's Microfinance Initiative to offer small business loans of $50 to $100 to help these women generate income. The women use the money they earn to feed their families and improve their standard of living. WMI was launched in January 2008 when founder Robin Neider traveled to Bioba with her daughter Montana Stevenson and board member June Kayakobi to issue the first 20 loans. The program is a success and in January 2009 Robin returned to Bioba, Uganda with board member Trix Vandervossen to expand the WMI program. All journeys to Uganda begin in the capital, Kampala, a busy city of 1.2 million. Four hours from Kampala, the dirt road that Robin and Trix travel to Bioba is also busy. Olive Wolimba, WMI's local director, welcomes Robin back to Biobo. News of the loan program's success has spread and the local councillor comes to greet the WMI contingent. WMI borrowers are organized into color-coded support groups. In a graduation ceremony, Olive congratulates the successful borrowers who have repaid their loans. I congratulate all these groups for managing their business as well and for fulfilling the conditions of the loan. I am happy to report that WMI loans are creating a great impact in the community. Yes. yes. One, women are slowly being empowered financially. They have something in their pocket that you see. <laughs> Two, they are gaining self-confidence. You see, when you have some money, at least you have the power to speak. You can refuse, you can, huh? Three, there is growing cooperation among women and family members. They are acquiring skills in budgeting. At least these ladies can now budget. They no longer spend blindly. At least they budget before spending. Five, social status have improved. Six, women are now smarter, happier, and even gaining <laughs> some <somewhere. laughs> What can we give you? What can we give you? What can we give you for this wonderful program? I bring you greetings from all the women in America who support WMI. There are hundreds of them now, oh. hundreds of them, that with Olive's leadership, she would find other groups of women who wanted loans, and she did. The red group, the yellow group, the green group, the black group, the white group. I had a dream that when we reached across the ocean, we would find women who with just a little bit of money Mm. could start jobs mm. and could start businesses. After the ceremony, borrowers were eager to show off their thriving businesses. The WMI contingent took a walk through Biobo, where businesses are spread out along the main road. <laughs> Betty Magombe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this is your shop? <laughs> yeah? What do you sell? She says she sells granites. This is glucose, cooking oil, salt is there, fashion fruits, onions. How's business? Business city. 
Good. Yeah. Good. What will you spend your savings on? I think I will have a weekend. Just a savings for couple of days. For expanding the business. Excellent. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, Florence, yeah. this is your business. This is what you do. This is my business. Yeah. What do you use this flour for? Food to make bread. Porridge. Porridge. Food. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you grind this twice to get it twice. Twice. Okay. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, mm. Rebecca. How are you? What, what do you sell in your shop? Flour, sugar, peanuts, and many things. Are you saving money? Do you save? I also save. Yeah. And what are you saving for? <laughs> That's excellent. I'm very glad to meet you. Camita runs a hotel and she's made. Jacqueline, what she made for dinner? <laughs> so, what else is on your plate? Is that Matoki? This is Matoki. Okay. Our local food. Yeah? Yes. What does it taste like? Is it sweet? It is sweet. The WMI program is expanding rapidly. WMI loans do not require collateral, down payments, or processing fees. They have a six-month term and carry 10% interest. While loans like these are considered risky, the loan repayment rate is 100%. A grant has provided funds for WMI to construct a building, which will be completed in June 2009. With this permanent home, WMI will be able to add more services for borrowers, including a preschool, tutoring, and loans that will fund household productivity improvements like solar panels, fuel-efficient stoves, and clean and accessible water. All new services will be offered on a sustainable basis, just like the loan program. Hi, hey, Alan. You're getting a follow-up loan? Are you getting a, another loan? And when did you get your first loan? January 2008. So have you been keeping your book? Yeah. Can we see your bookkeeping? This is fabulous. Every You filled up a whole book? All the way through? Did you make a profit this year? <laughs> okay. Alice Manja. There she is. <laughs> Chickens, turkeys, <laughs> everything. You are welcome. <laughs> On behalf of Women Microfinance Initiative, we over women in particular, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for loving us. Women can now dress you well. Women can now palm with their hair. Women can now plan something. Long only microfinance. What can we give you? What can we give All WMI you? All WMI staff and U.S. volunteer their services. WMI's work is made possible by contributions from supporters like you. WMI is a collaborative organization, and we welcome your input and ideas. If you would like to help, please log on to wmionline.org.